Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, so uh, listen, uh, I, think we're, I think this is going to be a fun show. We've got Mike for two hours here, and I'm sure there's folks out there that um, know about CMMG. They've got questions and everything. So we'll get I'm into like if you roll it through. Yes, we will. We will. I'll go back and get into those. But Lola always smacks me in the back of the head if I don't, you know, like ask you to tell the folks out there who are you and, you know, how'd you get into this business? How you start working with CMMG? Uh, uh well, uh, my name is Mike O'Dell. Uh, obviously, uh, with CMMG, I have been with the companies for CMMG. Uh, September will be nine years. Uh, I I bought my first AR-15 from CMMG at a gun show. I, I can't even remember when it was. Uh, but one of the things that really drew me in with CMMG is, for one, for me, they were local. Uh, mm -hmm. So back in the day, we were made in Fayette, Missouri. And uh, I lived in Fayette, Missouri. And there was something, to me, just super cool about having an AR-15 with my hometown on the side of it. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the fact that the owners of CMMG, I met at church. I'm going to age myself a little bit here, but 31 years ago. What? Uh, wow. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, I am I met them back then, so I knew them. And mm -hmm. uh, it was just one of those things that I had one of their ARs. I was working in the industry, but for a different company. And mm -hmm. uh, they, you know, so the brothers that own CMMG have a ton of companies. Uh, they actually, uh, you know, there's a gun store that's also a sister company to CMMG. I used to manage that, and I started learning the product enough that they decided to start taking me to SHOT Show because I could speak very highly and very intelligently on the entire product line. And I did a local, like, weekend radio show back then, um, off and on, and so I spoke well in front of people. Uh, so I just kind of became the face of CMMG. Oh, right. I mean, you know, so, and, and if you're going with a face, I mean, that's that's got to be the face right there of the company. Uh, you know I, mean? I mean, I started I started <laughs> off with a face for radio for sure. Uh, and then, uh, no. you know, I've, I've been uh, very blessed to be in the position that I am and be able to, you know, run into people like yourself and many other people that mm -hmm. I've met uh, over the years. And I, I'm honored to call a lot of people in this in the industry friend now, as mm -hmm. opposed to just you know some guy I know. So right. it's it's I, if you would ask the the me that was just getting into handgun shooting and stuff way back when, mm -hmm. if I ever thought my career path would you know lead me to this type of thing, I I'd, I'd say you're smoking something for sure. Yeah, that's the amazing uh, cool side I think. Of what we do, there's some downsides and stuff like that, but that's one of the oh, yeah. of the cool things. Uh, Walter, did you have a question there for Mike from what he was saying? Oh, um, I'm just absorbing. I'm absorbing. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I know behind the scenes, you were saying that CMMG is coming up on 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, what's like? Give us a little bit of the 20 year history here. What was the first thing that they actually manufactured and put out there? Uh, and and let me just get this in too here before I forget. Uh, Whammy Gunslinger, that's our friend Eugene from Whammy. He says CMMG was my very first AR-15 as well. So, Love the company. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's one of those things. Is I uh, like Hank Shirt said. You know, I drank the CMMG Kool Aid before I worked for CMMG. Uh, mm -hmm. So it, it was just a, a perfect blend. Uh, I've taken the guns out. I've abused the tar out of them, and you know they're workhorses. Uh, and I got sidetracked. I had to try to remember where we were going. We we're talking about yeah. the uh, 20 years coming up. So yeah, yeah, uh, 2022 will be our 20th anniversary or 20th year in business. And, wow. Uh, you know, we're we're still going gangbusters. We our our engineers. I think we have six in-house engin engineers now, um, and those guys are always working behind the scenes to come up with cool new stuff, keep us you know relevant in the industry, trying to you know, breathe new life into the AR platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I can't really go into too much detail. Uh, I'll just say we've got plenty of fun stuff coming. Uh, hopefully SHOT Show 2022, uh, mm -hmm. new, new platforms, new calibers, new looks, uh, all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. Um, 
you know, uh, maybe a CMMG handgun, Walter, coming out? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just making up stuff now. Well, we have pistols, technically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, <laughs> for, for now. I, yeah, I, I knew we could go down that rabbit hole. The whole <laughs> I mean, I'm oh, a real boy. So for now, yeah. yeah. Forever. Forever. Uh, uh, maybe not from the our, configuration that from, we think From our are, cold, yeah. dead hands. <laughs> Will they get... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, do we want to get into it early here? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, no, so, let's not start. No. Yeah, so what was the first thing? Because like, Wal I had this conversation sometimes with Walter. He was asking you before we started about uh, Knob Creek. Remember, Walt? And Walter always tells me this story about Daniel Defense and Knob Creek. <laughs> like how they, you know how he first ran into them. So I was just wondering, like, how humble are the beginnings of CMMG? Uh, what were you guys making? What was the first thing? If you, I know you weren't there necessarily at that time, right. but what was the early stuff? I mean, the early stuff was legitimately pieced together AR-15s uh, mm -hmm. from parts that, uh, you know, they, they could run across. I mean, mm -hmm. for, forever, uh, the guys, uh, the owners were just doing local gun shows and stuff, and they mm -hmm. had back then what were called the trash can guns because mm -hmm. they would acquire a group of lowers, you know, a whatever brand upper and just mm -hmm. cobble things together at some point. Mm -hmm. And they just dumped them in a trash can and you show up at the, at the gun show and you just pick something out of the trash can and pay for it, do your paperwork and, you know, leave. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they started making relationships with AR manufacturers and, uh, you know, forging companies and, and different companies that can supply comp uh, components for them. Mm -hmm. And they started with your kind of basic M4 variant AR-15. That's what our original logo was. It was just the letter CMMG with an M4. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe, I, I can't remember the exact chronological order, uh, but mm -hmm. early on uh, we were adapt uh, adopters of the, uh, the 22 conversion kits mm -hmm. uh, to be able to shoot 22 out of your mm -hmm. 556223. Uh, they work we well. jumped ju mm -hmm. jumped on the 308. We jumped on uh, the Colt nine millimeter blowback system and mm -hmm. 300 blackout. You know a few various offerings there, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I think other than the 22 conversion kit, our kind of claim to fame was in 2015 when we released the Mark 47. Okay. You no, know? uh, and then you know since then our engineers have just been going gangbusters, coming out with the radio delay blowback. And you know, all, all the fun stuff that has followed.